In this video, we'll be discussing MCQs based on behavior management. I want you to revise the topic before we start. Try to solve the MCQs along with me. Let's see the first question. All of the following are psychological approaches for behavior management except Option A. Desensitization Option B. Hypnosis Option C. Modeling Option D. Conscious sedation were you able to answer this question? Well, the main concept to know for this question is the classification of methods of behavior management. Let's go through it quickly. Broadly, the methods of behavior management can be classified into non-pharmacological or psychological methods and pharmacological methods. Non-pharmacological techniques for behavior management include communication, behavior shaping, which involves methods such as desensitization, modeling and contingency management. Other methods in this category include audio analgesia, biofeedback, voice control, hypnosis, humor, coping mechanisms, relaxation techniques, implosion therapy and aversive conditioning. On the other hand, the pharmacological methods include premedication, conscious sedation and general anesthesia. So, for this question, the correct answer is option D. Time to go to the next question. Home should be carried out for Option A. 1 minute Option B. 20 to 30 seconds Option C. 10 seconds Option D. 15 to 20 seconds Okay, first of all, please don't use the hand over mouth technique frequently. It's not a good experience for the child. The question is testing your knowledge about the home technique. Let's revise it. The hand over mouth exercise involves specific steps in addressing a child's behavior during a dental visit. This technique involves the dentist firmly placing his hand over the child's mouth while calmly explaining behavioral expectations close to the child's ear. The dentist continues this method until the child's verbal outburst comes to a complete stop and the child signals a willingness to cooperate. At this point, the dentist removes their hand. It's important to note that as this technique is applied, the child's airway is not restricted. The entire procedure is designed to be short, lasting no more than 20 to 30 seconds. We should not exceed this time limit. Following successful cooperation from the child, positive reinforcement is crucial. The dentist should take a moment to compliment the child for being quiet and offer praise for their good behavior. This structured approach aims to manage behavior effectively while maintaining a supportive and controlled dental environment for the child. So, the correct answer is option B. Let's look at the next question now. According to Pinkham's classification of child behavior, category 2 is Option A Emotionally compromised child Option B Frightened child Option C Child who is adverse to authority Option D Shy introvert child To answer this, we need to know Pinkham's classification of child behavior. Let's revise it. According to this classification, there are four categories of children. Category 1 is an emotionally compromised child. Category 2 is a shy introvert child. Category 3 is a frightened child. Category 4 is a child who is adverse to authority. So, the correct answer for this question will be option D. Moving on to the next question. An altered state of consciousness characterized by a heightened suggestibility to produce desirable behavioral and physiological changes is known as Option A. Cognitive coping Option B. Biofeedback Option C. Hypnosis Option D. Behavioral coping This is a fact-based question. I think we can all agree that according to the definition, the answer should be hypnosis. Basically, by definition, hypnosis is an altered state of consciousness characterized by a heightened suggestibility to produce desirable behavioral and physiological changes. So, the correct answer is option C. Now, 
Let's look at the last question for this video. Name the technique which usually involves teaching the patient how to induce a state of deep muscle relaxation and describing imaginary scenes relevant to the sphere. Option A. Desensitization. Option B. Contingency management. Option C. Hypnosis. Option D. None of the above. Again, we need to recognize the term based on the information in the question. First, I'll explain desensitization. This technique was used for patients with psychiatric problems regarding fear. The therapist creates a list of steps related to the fear, arranged as a hierarchy from the least to the most stressful. The patient, while in a state of deep relaxation, is exposed one step at a time. Each step presented repeatedly until there is no evidence of stress or antagonism on the patient's part. On satisfactory completion of the hierarchy procedure, the patient is desensitized to the fear. In a dental situation, the procedures needed for the child from the initial appointment to the final appointment are arranged in a hierarchy from the least painful or fearful ones. When the child gets gradual exposure to these procedures, they will be ready to take the next level procedure without much apprehension. Tell show do or retraining can be part of desensitization procedure. So, based on the information given to us, the most appropriate answer will be option A. Make Torchwell your study buddy to learn anytime, anywhere without carrying a load of books with you. Sign up now and get a free trial.